Hi guys! Let's take a closer look at the push button and digital inputs today. First I'm going to make just a simple circuit with no programming involved, then a little more complicated one with an on and off switch. We will need the following paths, 5mm red LED, 220 ohm resistor, 2 push buttons, breadboard, UNO R3, 7 jumper wires. Push buttons are really simple components. When you press a button, they connect two contacts together so that electricity can flow through them. The specific switch button has four connections, which can be a little confusing. Inside the switch package, two pins at the bottom are connected and two pins at the top are connected. They need to be placed correctly on the breadboard so that they are far enough apart. Let's first make a simple circuit to better understand how the push button works. 5V power pin will be connected to the positive side of the LED. LED negative will connect to the 220 ohm resistor. The other end of the resistor will be connected to the push button. The other end of the switch will connect to the ground pin. Now let's do the wiring. I'm connecting 5 volts and ground pins to the rails on the breadboard. I'm connecting positive, which is the longer lead of the LED, to the positive rail on the breadboard. LED negative lead will connect to any side of the resistor. The other end of the resistor will go to the switch. To make sure the switch is properly wired, connect any two legs of the switch diagonally. The other side of the switch will go to the negative rail. Let's connect the ground pin now and press the button. As you can see, the LED lights up only when the circuit is closed, when the button is being pushed. Now let's try and make a little more complicated circuit with some programming involved. This will be the schematic. This time let's use digital pins instead of the power pins. D5 digital pin will go to the LED circuit and will be programmed as output. Pins configured as output are in a low impedance state. They are set to either 0 or 5 volts. D9 will have the on push button and D8 will have the off push button. They will be set up as input pull up pins. Input pull up pins access the built in pull up resistors on the board, whose value is between 20 and 50 kilo ohm. This is the main difference from the input pins. Input pins have no resistor added to steer the pin to a known state if no input is present. This can result in random changes in pin state because of picking up electrical noise from the environment. This faulty behavior is called a floating pin. Let's take a look at the sketch. D5 is an output pin. D8 and D9 are input pull-up pins. The default value for the input pull-up is high. When a switch is pressed, it connects the input pull-up pin to the ground and the value is pulled low. When the on button is pressed, switch on the LED. When the off button is pressed, switch the LED off. Let's upload the sketch. I'm connecting pin D5 to the rails, followed by the LED positive. Let's connect the resistor next. This is actually a 10 kilo ohm by mistake, so the LED will shine a little less bright. Let's join the other side of the resistor to the negative rail. Let's add both the switches. I'm connecting the top one to the pin D8. The second switch will go to the pin D9. Both will connect to the negative rail as well. Hooray, it works! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new and see you next time.